Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing this Opus 1200 watt portable power station. And I know some of you may be wondering why, since this channel is about motorcycle content. And the reason is, is because we've been doing some moto camping in the last year. My interest really started last year when we went to the Stubborn American Rally at Adam Sandoval's K River Campground. You may realize if you have cameras and drones and phones, the charging them over a multiple day event can sometimes be challenging. And then I found that some of my friends need CPAP machines to be able to sleep at night, which requires a fair amount of electricity. One of them brought a portable power station like this. I got to thinking having something like this solves my charging needs for those devices, but it would also allow us to have maybe LED lights for the campsite, power other devices, not have to turn our bikes on to charge our phones or our batteries that we brought with us to charge our phones. This thing would have been nice to have back in August when we ran the yurt at a state park. You see the yurt had electric and AC, but a storm blew through and knocked the power out for several hours. With something like this, we could have ran the fan or maybe even the AC unit, right? Let's talk about this unit and the features. This portable power station is equipped with a 1200 watt AC inverter and a 992 watt hour capacity LiFo Po 4 battery, which allows you to run most devices and appliances without worry while away from the grid or if power from the grid is down. Lithium ion phosphate batteries are a type of lithium ion battery. Some of the benefits of this type of battery include increased power output, faster charging, reduced weight, and longer life. The battery is safe and stable. And the battery is designed to retain up to 80% capacity at 2,500 plus charge cycles, and the lifespan is six times longer than ordinary lithium batteries. The front of the unit has 10 ports, which means you can power appliances from phones to refrigerators in a variety of ways. I did test the runtime on some appliances that I felt would be the most likely to use it for. Before we get into those results, let's finish looking over this thing. Here, we have the 12 volt charging port. The unit does come with the charger for that as well as a AC input, which is here. We have two DC outputs here, 12 volt, 10 amp. We have a PD 60 watt, a PD 18 watt, two USB three ports. This is our power button. A simple click will bring up the display. You can see the charge level over here. We'll see other things. We'll talk about that in a minute and then over here on the pure sine wave inverter side, we have three AC ports. Now these uh, ground ports are just a blank spot for the ground plug to sit in. And you have to turn that port on with that button. Same thing over here. So that they don't draw any energy from the unit when they're not in use. It's easy to monitor the power station at a glance of the smart LCD display. It has a ring around the center showing the capacity and each bar off this ring disappears after about 16%. It has this percentage to show you how much runtime is left. On the back, we have a dimmable LED light that comes in handy at night with two brightness levels and an SOS mode in case of emergency. It's designed with a comfortable carrying handle packed into a compact package weighing 24.5 pounds. The power station features a rugged design and BMS protection and with fast heat dissipation to ensure safety while charging. The BMS stands for battery management system and has over voltage protection, over current protection, and over heat protection. It adjusts the charging voltage and speed to suit your device's needs. The power station can be charged with a 12 to 30 volt solar panel, which is not included. Note, if you want to use another brand of solar panel, you will need an MC4 cable. It can also be charged via the included 200 watt charger or the 12 volt charger. It can also be used to power a device while charging, which can be very handy when you're using the solar panels especially. This should be a great power station to use when we go camping or as backup power in the home when the grid is down. Thinking about what real world scenarios I would use something like this for reminded me of a situation earlier this year. Power went out because of a thunderstorm and lightning took the power grid down in my area. Now, I'm one of those guys that likes to sleep with the air conditioning running at 68 degrees and a fan on. So no AC in the middle of the night on a hot summer night makes it hard for me to sleep. I decided to see how long this thing could run a 110 window air conditioning unit like I have in my bedroom. I ran the unit with the temperature setting on five to six with seven being the highest setting. The unit ran over 12 hours and only used 76%. 
That means you could get 15 to 16 hours probably at that setting. I also tested it with the air conditioner turned all the way up to seven and I ran over four and a half hours from 100% to 6% before the unit turned off. Along those same lines, I thought about what if you came home to find the power has been out for hours and you're worried about the food in the refrigerator or freezer. Just how long will this 1200 watt power unit run a full size refrigerator and freezer? And it turns out that I got over four hours out of it. Let's take a look. I plugged the refrigerator freezer unit from my home into this unit at four o'clock. I let it run at its natural pace without opening the doors or closing them particularly, just normal kind of house behavior. And it ran about four hours and 17 minutes before it kicked off at 3%. Now we've started moto camping off the motorcycle in the last year and a good friend of mine requires a CPAP machine. So I wanted to see how this device really performed with a CPAP machine in the real world. So he ran a test for me. Day one, day one, set up the machine. With this particular CPAP, we tested the unit over three nights and based on those results, you could get almost 30 hours with this particular CPAP. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on the CPAP you're using. This test was done with a Philips Dream Station with the humidifier enabled. And we checked, I mean, is it feasible to pack this on the motorcycle? We were able to fit it laying on its side inside of a king size tour pack on a Harley Davidson. So we've talked about runtime. What about charge time? I did not get solar panels with the review, but according to the manual, it will charge in about eight hours. I plugged the unit in at 11 o'clock AM. Of course, the unit started with 6% because it tends to shut itself off around the six or 5% area when discharging. I was able to charge it up to 99% in five and a half hours. This was performed just using the standard 200 watt charger. I did not test it with the 12 volt simply because fuel is too expensive and I don't want to run my vehicle for 12 hours to make sure that the manual is correct. You can charge this unit using a USB-C charger up to 60 watts in conjunction with the 200 watt charger and that would allow the unit to be charged even faster. I mentioned earlier this unit is 25 pounds and that may feel like a lot but this thing does fit in a King Tour pack and it is really not that big. So the length on this unit is just under 13 inches. If you have a 13 inch spot, it should fit. For height, it's just under 12 inches and about nine inches wide. I think we will definitely take this with us as much as possible when we go camping in the future. I'm not an expert on power stations. This is actually the first one I've tested, but to be honest, I have looked at the prices of some of the other units and at $7.99, this seems to be a great value. And I've seen it available with a $100 coupon, bringing the price down to $6.99. And it comes with a 24 month warranty. Make sure to check the description for a link and a special discount code. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. And if you dig it, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell. Y'all stay safe. Keep on riding and we'll see you in the next one.